Hey, I'm Chris Short. Uh, today I'm going to talk about cryptography using Golang to get me out of a really stick sticky situation at a previous employer. Um, anybody in the room think cryptography easy, is easy? You should probably just get up and leave now. I see none of you are moving. Cool. Um, so I work for SJ Technologies. Oh, what's SJ Technologies? Uh, I work with John Willis. You might have heard of him. He wrote something about DevOps once or a thousand times. Uh, but I'm also a lot of other things. I have my own newsletter. Please subscribe. I also work with opensource.com. But most importantly, I'm a gopher. All the gopher images are from Ashley McNamara. So last time I did this talk, I uh, forgot to mention that, and oh well. So what is a gopher? A gopher is somebody that writes Golang. But like, I'm not a programmer. I'm an ops guy. So you know, not too long ago, somebody hands me this awful, awful issue. Hey, by the way, Chris, this application is three years old. It was written by a third party. We just adopted it, and the certificates are expiring in two days. Awesome. Oh, and the only version of it we have is production. <laughs> oh, and thousands of people use it, so you kind of have to not break it. OK, cool, so I'll get some new certs. No, well, it's not as easy as you would think, right? Like, you have to have good certs. Certificate chains, they come from an issuing authority, which is verified by somebody else, which is then verified by some big corporate entity out in the ether, like, you know, VeriSign. So, you know, certificate chains are hard. And you need multiple certificates to get this wonderful A plus thing that your auditors really like, right? Like when you show this to an auditor, they're like, hey, cool. I like A pluses. But you have to have this intermediate certificate, right? You get this private key, you get this public key, now you need to combine them all, and you gotta go find the intermediate key, and this is the documentation. Super not friendly to users. Actually, one of these sites I checked this morning has completely changed their web page to make it a little bit easier to read. So I need to update that. But this is how you feel when you go there. I'm a Carolina Panthers fan, so like this was hard for me to put in here. <laughs> but this is how I felt that day when I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Which intermediate cert do I need? Where do I put it? Well, you know, I'm a sysadmin by trade, ops guy. Go ops. Um, so I was like, well, I'm not going to try and figure out cryptography. I'm going to use somebody else's stuff to figure out cryptography. And the Go standard library has an amazing crypto package. So let's talk about this program I wrote, Log. That's one component from the standard library that I need. It has an amazing ability to just fail spectacularly, which I'm in DevOps. I'm embrace failure. Like I said, the crypto library is amazing. It is perfect. Perfect. TLS 1.2 implementation. This is obviously the package that handles all the fun cryptography pieces. And by the way, it makes sure it's in the right order. So if it's not, it just logs and fails. Net HTTP, the package that serves, like the actual TLS connection, makes sense, right? We're all nerds here. We kind of understand HTTP. Um, it is also very fast. So when you combine them with mux and config and server, you actually get like a good web service out of virtually nothing. It's a very small program. Even with like a redirect port 80 to 443, it's only 50 lines of code. It's amazing. So it fails spectacularly, right? Like if your private key and your public key are not perfect, boom, sorry, won't load. And guess what? It's one command to actually run it. Go run, go build. There's the whole application. Y'all like emojis, right? I mean, hello world, why not wave at people? So <laughs> you can actually load this app and run it anywhere in the world, and you can test it from any tool, wherever, and it, it'll tell you, hello world. And you can go and verify that your keys are in the right order, and they're not crappy, and they're going to work before you put it in production and break a thousand things, maybe. Or, you know, just break a thousand things and figure it out later. Nah, eh, let's test it first. You can scan it. You can actually go to that URL. It'll work right now. Um, the SSL tester.chrisshort.net, it's up and running. Good luck crashing it. It's a Google thing. Um, but it's using less than grip for keys. So in conclusion, uh, I really like Go code because I can write it as an ops guy. I really like the fact that it's 50 lines of code for a fully functional web server serving perfect configuration as far as uh, Qualys is concerned. And it's a static binary. I always like to finish my talks with a quote. Here's one from Jez Humble. That's not, DevOps is not a goal. There's no endpoint to DevOps, right? It's a never-ending process of continual improvement. Thank you.